parametric functionality in AutoCAD includes powerful geometric constraints. You can automate the process of applying geometric constraints using the Auto Constraint tool. A settings option enables you to control which constraints are available, in what order they are applied, and under what conditions they are applied, including the tolerance distance and angle. Based on the criteria, geometric constraints are automatically applied to the selected geometry and the constraint bars are displayed. Pass your cursor over the constraint bar icons to view the associated geometry. With geometric constraints applied, crucial relationships between drawing objects are maintained as you edit. You can easily remove an unwanted constraint by right-clicking over the constraint icon. Deleting this horizontal constraint, for example, allows the part to rotate as I edit it. You can continue to add and remove constraints as needed. I'll go ahead and add the horizontal constraint back to the model. And, while I'm at it, I'll add a fixed constraint to ensure the specific point on the geometry maintains its location in the coordinate system. The tools I've described so far enable you to apply geometric constraints to existing geometry, but you can also infer constraints as you create and edit geometry using the new Infer Constraints control on the status bar. For example, if I draw a rectangle with inferred constraints, AutoCAD automatically applies parallel and perpendicular geometric constraints. As I continue creating my design, AutoCAD infers constraints based on how I draw and edit. Drawing a polyline using an endpoint object snap with polar tracking applies relevant coincident and horizontal constraints. Using the perpendicular object snap applies a perpendicular constraint. I can even use the nearest object snap to apply a coincident constraint between a point and an object, allowing the flexibility for the point to move anywhere along the object. Whether you use auto constraint, inferred constraints, or a combination of both, you can always add and remove individual constraints to meet your design intent. In this side view of my rotary design, for example, I want the top and bottom edges of the rectangles and polylines to remain tangent with their corresponding arcs and circles from the front view. Quickly adding a series of tangent constraints between those objects establishes a geometric relationship between the front and side view that is not possible without the powerful parametric functionality in AutoCAD. To make it easier to see the drawing geometry amidst all the constraints, you can hide or show the constraint bars as needed. With geometric relationships defined, you can easily modify various aspects of your design using familiar editing tools such as grips or the properties palette. But what used to be a cumbersome editing process for iterative design is now quick and easy. You can explore more design ideas in significantly less time.